hey you guys so i'm back again with another message um this message god dropped in my spirit while i was recording the other message um and he he does that i start recording one and he'll he'll start talking so i know i said in a previous video you will never be the same all right and how people will change up on you and things of that nature it's okay right but God reminded me of what month we are in. We are in the month of July now. And I know I said in a previous video that God might have told you guys to rest. Well, seven is um, the month, right? Seven is the number of the month of July. Seven means uh, perfection and completion. So you might have completed something and God is telling you, okay, during this time of completion, get rest. Because guess what? August is coming. August 8 represents <laughs> the number for August. Eight stands for new beginnings. If you are no, if you know you are in your season of new, if you know you are in your season of new beginnings, right? You're transitioning into your season of new beginnings. It's best that some of these people drop off and leave you alone, anyways. I hate to say it, but it is. It really is because God, where God is taking you, these people cannot go. If you try to take some of these people with you. It will be an Abram and Lot situation. It will be a situation where these people will try to destroy what God has built for you. So God wants me to come and tell you that it's okay, right? These people can't go because you're entering into your new. You're entering into your new. New beginnings for you. So in order to receive new beginnings, we have to go through preparation too as well. That's why God is telling a lot of his children to rest. Because it's like you don't have to clean up. You're going to have to get rid of some things. It's like when you're moving, right? Doing an actual physical move, moving into a house. Um, You have to pack. Some things you realize that you no longer leave. So you either throw it away or you, you, you throw it away or you donate it. So the reason why people are switching up on you is because those are the people that you can't pack, you can't take with you. Those are the people that you're going to have to set healthy boundaries and say, hey, I love you, but I'm going to have to love you from a distance. Because if you try to take these same people with you that's showing you who they are now, imagine how they're going to act when you get to your new and they can't be, they're not going to be able to handle your new. They're going to try to destroy it. They're going to try to sabotage it or try to get you to self-sabotage it. It's okay to be in our season of loneliness. Embrace the loneliness. You're not really lonely because God is with you. He got his angels accompanying you. He got his angels fighting for you. You're not by yourself. But God is saying they can't go with you. And I know I did I messaged about this before, but they can't go with you because August, when we enter out to August, y'all, eight new beginnings. Some of you guys are going to walk into your new in August. That's why God is telling you to take this time to rest. Work on the things that he's telling for you to work on. Show up for the things he's telling you to do. But in the meantime, rest. That's why you can't save everybody in this season. That's why you can't help everybody in this season. Because you are about to move into your next level. Right? God is preparing you now for your next level. So... Count it all joy, y'all. Don't get upset. But God know what he is doing. All right? He sees when you can't see. He hear when you can't hear. And God I just want me to let you his, his children know, like, if he's telling you to rest in this season, rest. Because you have completed some things. Actually, it's, just, it's your time to celebrate. It's your time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of things. I'm accomplishing a lot of things. And it's time to you to celebrate. Take this time of rest to celebrate. What you have accomplished because you're about to walk into something very, very new. All right. Whether it's a new job, new career, new house, new location, marriage, you're about to walk in something new come August. And you don't need the old baggage to come with you. You don't need the old things that God delivered you from to come with you. That includes people, right? Um, people can carry um, demonic spirits on them 
demons on them that God had delivered you from. So he was like, just stay away from them. Just stay away from them because I delivered you from that. They got to go through their process of getting delivered. You don't need to entertain that, right? So God is preparing you for your new. August is going to be the month of new beginnings. But take this time in July to rest. Take this time in July to counter all joy when people start to try to switch up on you and don't include you in things. It's okay. They just showing you who they are. And since they showed you who they are, believe them. But God is preparing you for your new. Right? Okay? You're about to enter into your new. A lot of people are entering into their new in August. All right? But take this month of July, if God has told you to, to rest. Take this message back to God and confirm, but he clearly said seven is the month. Seven is the number of perfection and completion. So a lot of his God's children have completed some things during, um, has completed some things by July. And eight is the number of new beginnings. So a lot of God's children, since you have completed what he had told you to complete, now take this moment in time to rest because August, you're going to be walking into some new things that he has in store for you. All right. So he's preparing you for your new. So I'll write you guys. I love you all. I pray that you guys have an amazing day. Get ready. Take this time to rest. Take this time to celebrate. And I will chat with you all later.